What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, in my car. Uh, went to go try and get some some paint samples to color my. I want to color my living room. Girls, you got you know you got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it up. Um, but I wanted to make a real uh, a real fast video talking about the five things that guys commit to. If you have these five things, the more you have, the merrier. But if you have all five things, the holy tri it's not a trifecta, the holy five star, whatever, um, you're going to get a guy to commit. Okay, so jumping right into this. And I made a video about this before, but I think it's so important that I have to uh, make another one because women always ask me, what do I need to work on? What do I need to do? What's this? What's that? What does he want? Um, I'm going to give it to you simple. If you want a more complex uh, understanding of it, check out my guide. Links down below, 275 pages. Um, a lot more in depth. So the first thing, I want to get the, the common sense thing out of the way, which is you got to be a good looking girl. Listen, if he doesn't find you attractive, um, which I think a lot of women think I objectify them when I say that. A lot of women think I, you know, become this like sexist effing pig and when I talk about this kind of stuff. But listen, the polarity, the binary between a man and a woman is the attraction. And a part of attraction is the sexual attraction. I don't mean that as in, you know, like having sex with him, but he does have to have this physical attraction to you from an evolutionary standpoint. Like he has to look at you and be drawn towards you in a physical way. Now that's just one layer of it. Obviously it's more than that. There's also personality and mentality and all that and spiritually even. Um, but that is a very, 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 very important one. The second one, I, I always tell him, he has to be very attracted to you. He has to feel like you are the best option he can get. Now, again, I, I just made a video about that yesterday. I know that's harsh to hear. And I know you might think it's really hard to do. But you really make the job easier when you know how to maximize attraction, when you know how to build attraction, when you know how to have a um, relationship, a connection, some type of bond with this man that he cannot relate to with another woman. I always tell women, attraction is not a choice. A guy cannot wake up and think who or and, and pick and choose like a on and off switch who he's attracted to and who he's not. That's the power of it. That's why I made a 275 page ebook over it. It, it a, attraction is the currency of relationships. I always say that if you want to get a guy to do more things, build more attraction. Okay. But he has to feel like you are one of the best options he can get. The third thing is he has to truly believe that his life is, is this shining in my eye? God dang. He has to truly believe that his life is better with you in it than without. If he doesn't truly believe this, okay? Now, this does not mean, ladies, you got to play these dark tactic games, this dark psychology where you, you play games with him. Listen, a guy doesn't like games especially if he's on the same page as you. If you both are on the same page and you're looking for a relationship and you're mentally uh, or emotionally available, don't be playing games. There's no reason to, okay? He just has to realize, though, how much he truly likes you. And if he does take you for granted, okay, then you know what? Then you need to show him what he's going to lose. Um, but other than that, he has to truly feel that his life is better with you in it than without. Number four you have to make him want to be a better person. Listen, a man in his masculine is a provider, a protector, right? A satisfier. He is an asset to you. He is an asset to his community. Find a man like that. Again, provider, satisfier, protector, asset to you in the community. It is a man with a mission, a mission much bigger than you and much bigger than himself, okay? If you are a woman in his corner, and you're giving him the services provided, such as the, you know, just being there for him, the emotional support, okay? And he's wanting to do this not just for him, but for you, for your guys' future, and for the community and neighborhood that he's in. He, you have, you hit the jackpot. You hit a really good man. Find a man like that. And then be the cheerleader. I hate saying it like that because that's kind of like, you know, gender roles. I'm not, I'm not saying roll over and be submissive. But be the cheerleader. Guys love that stuff. And lastly, you have to have more assets than liabilities. Or the assets have to be worth the liabilities. There's so many women where I would, you know, I'm talking to them. And I'll tell them that, oh, he likes you. It's just not worth the liabilities. Like, it's not worth the bullshit. It's not worth the, 
it's not worth the distance. It's not worth this. It's not worth that. Or at least at, in that moment in time, it's not. And a lot of women don't like when I say that. And listen, no man and no woman are perfect. You're never, don't even try to fight this. You know, have all these assets and limited liabilities. You just have to be the best version of yourself and then put yourself out there and see if a man's willing to um, accept it. Um, but a lot of the times, like I said, if there's a lot of things involved, such as like you'll say there's distance and uh, like you guys just are always arguing, it doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't matter how much a guy likes you. If you're always arguing, it's going to crumble. If it's distance and you guys don't have a way of coming together or you haven't seen each other in a while and this goes on for a long time, it's going to crumble. That's just how it is. Okay. So, um, you have to be a good looking woman. He has to be attracted to you at least. One of the best options he can get. He has to believe his life is better with you in it than without. You have to make him want to be a better person, something bigger than himself. And you have to have more assets than liabilities. If you have all these things, and if you don't know how to get them again, get my course, 275 pages down below. Uh, not my course, my ebook. Um, if, you, if you can get all these things, and at the same time, you're just a badass chick. You're just fun. You're cool. I'm sure you all got that under control. You know, you're just like fun, flirty, um, awesome, fun to be around on a date. Then I think everything else is going to go from there, uh, just flow. Okay. So with that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.